guys it's Joe London Home Gardening and it is the 8th of July and yeah the weather's really hot it's been in the 30s um, in London um, yeah since June we've had some really good weather um, so yeah and because of that good weather my pineapple guava has really um, blossomed you know we've got flowers everywhere and um, I mean these are just gorgeous absolutely beautiful so the trees basically du doubled the bush or shrub has doubled in size and yeah we just have flowers everywhere and these are so beautiful and basically you can take these petals and eat them it doesn't harm the fruiting of the tree um, mm, let me taste one mm, yeah sweet very sweet so yeah, hopefully this year, this um, pineapple guava will fruit for me. And basically I've been getting a paintbrush and pollinating these flowers, just to give it a little help along. Everywhere, the flowers are everywhere, all over this. And let's just go down below, you so you can see the trunk the multi trunk there you go and the bark is beautiful peeling bark and we've had got some leaves down there which has fallen off the, the tree and is helping to mulch around it so this is my pineapple guava guys if you're not growing this you should grow it it's a very very hardy bush slash tree very very hardy it can take temperatures down to minus 10 Celsius. We've got flowers everywhere here. I haven't seen any insects really pollinating this. Maybe, maybe they are, but I haven't seen them. So, as I said before, I've been pollinating it. Um, there's a bud about to open soon. There we go more flowers just basically everywhere and I have um, purchased a different variety I don't know the name of this variety here but um, I've purchased a triumph and I've planted it right next to it um, so hopefully you know a couple of years to come this will flower and it will help to pollinate they'll both pollinate each other basically